Cursed Hollow. Cursed Hollow. Tier list, yes. I wasn't done yet. Uh, Leoric tier 1, I don't think so. Mm, tier 2. Zarya, I think, gets a lot better in the new patch. I would dare say she's probably tier 1. Diablo's tier 1 in Hero League. Maybe not in competitive, but I'm going to leave it there for Hero League. Osmodan definitely got worse now. I think Zul's pretty good in the new patch. Zagara, probably the best spec. Murky probably got a little better. Hammer, I'm gonna move her to tier 3 until proven otherwise. No, she's probably tier 2. That's okay, you can stay. But she's the worst tier 2 spec. Gonna take a quick look when it's my turn. Fourth. Got it. Um... Yes, so, uh, I think Samuro got better. I think Thrall got better. How much? I'm not sure. We will Cassia is great actually, destiny. from the looks of it, tier 1. When you look at the pro games, at Gold Club World Championship as well. Q built Cassia pretty darn good. Um... Stitches want to play. I think it's mostly okay now. There's probably some problems with my list at the moment. But I think for the most part it's fairly accurate. So I'm just going to leave it as such and focus more on the draft. So if you want to see my tier list, type exclamation mark tier list. And also add new MMR. New performance based matchmaking. Gilneas will rise again. Info blog. Exclamation mark matchmaking. You can read more about the performance based matchmaking. Uh, hey Grubby, have you ever eaten kutia? No, I, I don't know what that is. Can't say that I have, no. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm gonna resume the alerts again. Thank you guys for the resubs and the subs. Greetings, there we go. Uh, it was paused for the patch Logical notes review. Decision. There's gonna be a lot of spam. Thanks in advance. My blades are yours. Greetings, friend. Uh, I will take support. I have Brightwing, Malfurion, Karazim. I think Karazim. I get 7-sided strike or palm as I wish. With Brightwing I get global but... Karazim has a much easier time getting away from trouble. Especially against like, you know, hooks. I can even decide... To still just go for, yeah, I can decide to go for for like uh, I don't know, like you know, Greetings, friend. Happy palm day. to save someone, depending on what their final pick is. Glad to have you back. Yo, thanks, man. X seventy X. It's good to be back. Greetings, friend. A voice chat is probably not going to get implemented for a while as of yet. Because there's no news on it and it didn't get implemented today. Have you ever eaten at the Leist or the Libraia restaurants? If so, were they worth the hype? No, never did. Uh, why no Uther for D-Shield or Mosh or Greymane? Uh, 
I think Karazim is really good right now. I had no... Yeah, I could have done Uther, but I like adding a little bit more damage because I'm playing placement games and I think it is safer for me to also be able to kill people rather than being 100% of support. Because my MMR on NA is lower than my true MMR. So the game thinks that I am maybe like fourth best or third best in the game. And maybe it's true. But generally when I play on NA, I try to have something that can kill people. Uh, same as if I were to play like, I don't know, like a lower level account or whatever. I could be wrong. But anyway, it's like quite flexible because I didn't know their damage. So I could still choose palm and stuff. Palm or damage. My focus on you. Uh, at this point, I can choose to go for insight, transcendence, or uh, iron fist. I think I'm gonna do iron fist. I could do insight. Five, four, three, two, one. Greetings, Are you ready to rock? Yo, thanks, guys. Actually, I think I'll do Iron Fist. I welcome a new trial. Uh, wow, the minimap looks quite different, doesn't it? I feel like we should probably spread out already. Wow, the minimap looks so different. Uh, I'm not being very supportive with what I'm doing here. Like, the decision I made to go bot. Oh look, the next tribute is gonna be top. My mind is clear. Greetings, friend. It's nice that you can see where tributes are gonna go now. It's a really big deal. Grubble grub log and welcome back. I miss the stream, but love the casting. Yo, thanks, man. Nice to hear. Hey, kill him, kill him. I have two nice. What is your favorite Winter Vale skin and second? Grubby announced a when. Um. Greetings, friend. Well. They're so early, the camps. Where is my foe? <laughs> Greedy. Your strength Thanks, guys. Uh, I'll answer all questions after. Greedy. We should do Bruiser, too. Hanzo main reporting in. Where is Glad my you're foe? streaming again. Crash uh, nerds today. They they have almost no auto attack uh, auto attack uh, heroes, so I'm going to actually get spirit ally for the healing. You're the best in the business. Keep being awesome. tribute and earn my favor. Greetings, friend. Yo, thanks, man. Uh, so 20 seconds tribute announcement. I'm gonna go cap this and then. I think we should push with the wizard camp mid or go for tribute. We can actually probably push with it. I like I'm pushing with it. Uh, dude, I learned something about Karazim in China. It's about trading. So you go in, you hit them a few times and then you go out and that's a trade. And I don't focus on that enough in my play, like trades. So when you have two dash, you can play it that way. So you turn on your E, and then you just jump on someone, and you go back, and you've done you've done your part, you know. I can't heal people. So we did really good with the camps. Look, they they pushed AFK. So like, uh, yeah, just like thinking in trades, 
is really interesting. For the glory of which, as I said, I didn't do much. Jesus. I tried to kill, I tried to like go in and out, but I didn't really think about it like that. So, adding as much damage as you can while spending resources that don't matter as much is great. For example, I go in, I hit him a bunch of times, I go back, I barely have damage or lost mana. He lost a lot of mana and health, so that's a good trade. If you keep doing that before fights, you can set up in really advantageous ways. Uh, I'm gonna get blinding speed. So now, for instance, because it's like... That was an unadvantageous tra <laughs> trade. <laughs> Showing again the concept of uh, important, useful traits. Uh, voice communications are not active yet. Uh, you're not just trading damage in double support meta, Ramus. It's also about cooldowns, by the way. Uh, and also, you don't have to play double support anymore. They got nerfed. My mind is clear. Uh, one tribute apiece. Let us capture this mercenary camp. The Can I quickly clear these minions? Greetings, friend. If I leave now, it's too obvious. My mind is clear. So I need to finish that. Uh, yeah, I'm going. Your or face my curse. The choice is simple. That's great getting the boss now. It's absolutely great. Uh, next tribute in 23 seconds. Let's go for it. We captured that one. Uh, kill the Night Wizard here first. First thing we do. Uh, they did the boss too, so good job for them. Uh, I'm going to go for 7-sided. I think. But I'll, I'll probably... Wait to see. Yeah, I'll just do it. Oh, what a pity! But it's still really good, uh, really good hero trade for us. Two for two so far. I might get more. Can't believe he copied stitches, by the way. Um, busted nice so again if you are new to the changes we zoomed out about 10% with the camera everyone did so you can see more minimaps look different first tribute is now at three minutes just like on many other maps it's gonna be at three minutes the minimap reveals where the next tribute is gonna be way before it does and all announcements of tributes are 30 seconds before instead of 15 Globes time out after three seconds, at which point they become neutral and can be picked up by either team instead of just the team that it originally belonged to. Towers no longer have ammo. Minions do more damage to towers. Uh, okay. I should be able to get away, probably. Or not. But it's, uh, it's not good. Gorge used. Uh, ETC doing a great job zoning. The hook is actually available, so he might die for this. He does have stage dive, but hook could interrupt it. And it did. Let your enemies Spread out. Get the speed. Push in different The gods bid me to continue. Uh, so we have Colossus Smash, it looks like. Yeah, Colossus Smash with High King's Quest. Pretty Choose nice, actually. Uh, minions do a lot of damage now to structures. It's pretty darn crazy. The battle draws near. 
Very short cooldown, doesn't matter much. Uh, there's still no Defenders uh, concept at the moment. I'm gonna go for Fist of Fury, by the way, longer duration. That's fine, there's no Defenders advantage. It's, it, it's literally playing into my hand. 13 seconds and I'm fine. My mind is clear. Interesting. The storm breaks. We got good push, good XP. Bruiser camp is available, let's get it. Um, we need to get level 16 and then ETC side lane push maybe. Uh, so the reason I get Fist of Fury is because Monk is pretty survivable anyway. He can get the seven-sided to make himself unstoppable and uh, untouchable. He has multiple dashes to get away. And so you can't go for Spell Shield or Sixth Sense. But you probably don't need it unless you want to be like a tank. And you probably shouldn't be. I think I'm going to go grab the Vision to give ETC more breathing space. I have a Spirit Ally to jump away on if need be. We have Vision on them in mid. We could actually collapse on them because Stitches isn't here. The only downside is the... Uh, that's nice, I forced a single person horrify. Seven sided. OMG, you're back. Glad to see you up and running again. You probably said this already, but how was the trip? GLA. Oh my god. Wow, that really turned against us. Whoa. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Oops. Wow. That really turned. That really. Earned. What happened, man? What's the recap here? Yo, thanks, Xsteel. You've probably said this already. How was the trip? I actually haven't. It was it was actually pretty good. Like, the casting was fun. The trip was good. But it was also really long. Felt like a little too long. But the games were great. It was great to watch Dignitas. Alex saved the cow. Oh yeah, we didn't kill Bruiser Wizard, so that's definitely gonna happen more and more, right? Um, okay, so let's see. What do we go? Wave of 100 fists, 45% damage, six basic attacks, cleansing touch. Not that useful here. It can remove horrify, I suppose. I'm gonna get the wave of 100 fists. Okay. draws near. Greetings, friend. They have a surprisingly strong team, actually. Surprisingly strong indeed. Um, yeah. The battle draws more split push. So I can push down a keep. We need to buy time for her and stuff. We should definitely, and we're definitely doing less well in full-blown team fights because of Nidus network and lack of much bit, I guess. But we have so much global power that we're actually underutilizing. The main issue is next tribute, and they're doing boss right now. Let us capture this mercenary camp for the glory of Ebgorod. We... I have to start damaging boss early, I think. Gather tribute or face my curse. The choice is simple. My mind is clear. The storm breaks. Uh, maybe we should just get cursed. I don't know. Oh shoot, we lost Greyman. All right, fine. Get cursed. Get all lanes with PTC on Zag. It's fine. 
That's totally fine. I think it's going to be a relatively weak curse if we global properly. Uh, it does look like they're pushing with siege camp, so that's probably for the best for them, actually. Welcome back. Um, yeah, I don't want to go too far out, actually. Uh, am I dead? I actually think I dodged effectively. That was pretty smart by me. Lol. Where's our healer? Yeah, they, they're getting a keep. It's good job by them forcing it. How was China? I was, it was good. It was fun. Um, My curse subsides. Uh, we could probably like have a pretty cool follow-up fight if we keep chasing. Uh, yeah, we probably want to leave now. It's fine. Uh, yeah, we lost the keep, but for the rest, not too big of a deal, actually. Uh, we have good XP and we have boss availability and they lost their curse and we still have two, two mid forts. It's actually pretty good. We'll grab Bruiser. Bruiser into top boss contest. Or, no, actually, let's just do boss. Yeah, l okay, let's do it like I said. For clarity, if anything. It's a good order, anyway. Okay, they literally just took Bruiser. We need everyone we can get here. Oops. <laughs> Small mistakes. Uh, I'm going to go for transgression. I think it'll be pretty useful. Wow, she did that? Wow! Really? Just wanted to make sure I don't get uh, horrified. It would be horrible. Oh, <laughs> Blackburn. Uh, and top, and top. Great job, guys. We just won the game. Didn't even lose front parts. Great! Do you have a tip for what to map on the left mouse button? Yeah, just left click. Works really well. Uh, by the way, thanks to subs uh, Gerigd, Sneaky, Zeox, Irain, Frigental, Modrelli, The Reman, Iordua, Flub, Dante, The Pain Trainer, Bad Badger, Eston, and The Brambo. Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, I can show the build. Yeah, Alexstrasza is really good during the height of her team fight, and like very strong during that time. Um, Alexstrasza, and the uh, but she's she's weaker outside of that, obviously, and also. We were so good global that it was our mistake to do as much team fighting as we did. So anyway, I had Iron Fist, Spirit Ally, Blinding Speed, Fists of Fury, Way of 100 Fists, and uh, the double percentage damage. So guard with the full team fight build. I mean, the full uh, split push build. Really no, actually spread. not. Great to Full see team you fight minus again. the fact that she had Nidus Network. Look forward to seeing your commentary with the new changes. 
I will do my best. I think it's going to be really interesting as well, uh, Sephirix. Thanks, man. Yeah, that was the build. I think it's nice. Oh, I didn't show the personal rank adjustment. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next game, okay? <laughs> Damn, calm down, bro. Uh, could you explain why you initiated the last fight? To a silver scrub like me, it seemed really unsafe. All teammates were going on the lane rather than following. Um, hmm. So we had a boss pushing top keep and we fought. If we lost the fight decisively, they could not ignore boss and not go for our car. If we won the fight, we win the game. If we escort boss, we probably straight. also win the game. The safest thing was escorting boss and waiting till the boss joins the team fight. Though this fight was also good, it's better than not fighting or not escorting. Mostly it's because I felt that I could bait a bad horrify again. It was positional decision, but I did not have enough awareness of where my team was, the fact that they maybe weren't there right away. But luckily they came. Specialists are easily my favorite class. How do you feel the turret ammo changes will affect pushers like Zul and Zagara? So, as far as I understand, minions do a lot more damage to towers. So, supported pushes with Zul and Zagara are even better than before. But unsupported pushes with AFK ammunition depletion are worse. So, basically, what it means is you need to be there. That's what it's saying, the game. You need to be there. To make it useful having good wave clear and killing enemy minions as a good specialist can is still good an mm -hmm. afk minion wave clash on a tower line is pretty much as good as it was before so for the most part i can say that they are not weaker i think The weakest, the thing that got the most weak is ammunition depletion strats, because there's no more ammunition. So, locust, like putting Abathur mid lane and expecting locust to destroy enemy mid wall in time is probably not as easy as before. And Abathur's general, of uh, Asmodan's general of hell. It's still really good if it's not defended against because still do so much damage he might be stronger because of it actually it's really hard to say actually and most of this data is influenced by how how people respond to it which will slowly go to the correct way to respond to things so we all need to relearn the game a little bit or more, we don't relearn the game. We play as we do before, but we see what's stronger or not. And it may actually take not just a month, but many months until we see hidden OP of certain heroes. Uh, Sylvanas should be better than before because towers always have ammo. Sometimes her black arrow wasn't broken because there were no ammo anyway. Now she always locks down a fort and minions deal more damage than before. So possession, possession and, and, and pushing a fort is so much stronger than before. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not master archery yet. <laughs> 